Hello, I'm Mark Brown, CEO of Berger & Brown Engineering, makers of SmartFlow products. Today I'm going to demonstrate the installation of a battery in the Tracer electronic flow meter. Give you a little bit of heads up on what we have sitting in front of us. This is a 3 8 flow meter, small body. This is called our big body. Uh, it runs from 3 quarter inch up to 2 inch. The installation of the battery and all the electronics is basically the same, so we'll just do it on the small unit today. When you purchase a new flow meter, you will get a battery in what we call a hardware bag with a staple in the top of it. If you buy a replacement battery, it will come in a pink bag. So this is what these units look like. The tool of choice is a 4 millimeter flathead screwdriver or a 532nds. With that, let's start the installation. The thing we have to be careful of as we take these out is there is an O-ring on the screws that we have to be mindful of and not lose. The O-ring is important to the sealing feature of the case. Then you can apply pressure evenly to all four corners of the case and lift gradually, working it back and forth, lifting it off. As you can see, we have clearance, very close tolerance clearance between the circuit board and the inside of the case. So paying attention to the battery uh, layout in the battery holder, you can pick your battery up and slide the negative side in first and then push down gently on the positive side. The display will come on just to give you a diagnostics really quick. Then you can turn the display back on just to make sure that everything is good. Check your temperature. All your buttons are working. Back to GPM. Go ahead and turn the unit back off. So after checking uh, the battery to be sure that everything is operating pro uh, properly, the next piece is to install the, kit, the cover back over the unit. And applying a little bit of pressure in the beginning just to see if you can get it to drop on is fine, but if it won't go, don't force it. Use your screws to help you. Making sure also that your buttons are lined up with the label on the cover. And what we typically do is put the screws into place. Start one corner, go to the opposite corner, and tighten the screws until you feel pressure. Once you feel that pressure, then you can use your hands to kind of work the case down over the unit. Now we can go back and tighten up the screws. As we tighten these down, we want to make sure they're very snug. The uh, bolts are what holds the case to the unit and creates the seal. So we want to apply plenty of pressure to be sure that the uh, water doesn't get in the case. After we get them down snug, what we can do is work the corners just like the lug bolts on a wheel. Just kind of work them around and keep driving the case down into the seal. Once that's done, then you want to test the function of the buttons to be sure they're all working properly. So turn it on. GPM, you can also look, go to the temperature function, go back to GPM, turn it back off. The buttons work fine. This is a successful installation. Thank you for purchasing uh, the Tracer Electronic Flow Meter and your continued interest in SmartFlow products. Uh, customer service can be reached online at smartflow-usa.com or call customer service at one 800 764 3518.